are very important to achieving your goals. More and more people are realizing that our habits are our identity, our character. And we also recognize that the things that we repeatedly do are the reasons for our success. That is why we need to develop new habits to replace our bad habits. about today are the five common mistakes that we do when we develop new habits. The source of what I'm going to share with you today came from addictedtosuccess.com by Lydia K. Number one, starting big. All entrepreneurs and successful people do this. They think big but they start small. So should you. You must have a goal if you want to change your behavior. But whatever it is, you'll first have to develop a certain habit. If you want to get fit, you'll need to start eating properly and then make fitness a habit. If you want to make writing your career, you'll need to find the will to sit down every day and write. Now, break the goal to specific tasks. Each of them will be something you need to achieve to eventually get there. Then figure out what steps you'll need to take every day in order to get closer to that goal. And start with the first one. Make it as tiny and simple as you can. Let it be impossible for you to say no to it tomorrow. Number two, not taking it seriously. Most successful people start out with many habits. Some wanted to gain muscle and started by doing one push-up a day. Others needed to improve their health and get in shape and started by just adding veggies to one of their daily meals. Hearing writers started by writing a few sentences each morning, others by meditating for just a few minutes. That's all it takes and you'll get there. But actions like that often seem too small and people usually want to change too fast. That leads to them not taking the whole process seriously and giving up before they've seen any results. Don't let that happen to you. Number three, trying to build or create too many habits at once. Don't do this to yourself. Not only will you fail at all of them, but you'll also feel much more disappointed after that will have used up your willpower and will be discouraged to try again. Instead, just focus on one habit. Gradual change is what really works. After all, we're talking about lifelong changes here. We're not just doing something for a week or for a few weeks. So if you want to start or stop doing something, let it be the only thing you'll be focusing on for some time. Leave everything else behind. Number four, knowing why you do it. I keep on telling this to know your why. Your why lies deep within you. It is your purpose. It is your driving force that will help you over.
that's all for now. Thank you for listening.